Here I have a drum, and I like to make it whenever you hit the drum, it plays a sound. And if you just spam it, it nicely loops the sounds on top of each other. So here's how you go about doing so. Okay, so to get started, I just have this drum snare and this drum stick that I grabbed from a free asset on Unity. Now, both of these are just pure models and thus don't have any collision. What we now need to do is create some colliders on these objects so that Unity knows when they hit each other. So we're going to start with the drumstick. I'm going to click on it. I'm then going to give it a capsule collider because that's the closest primitive shape to the object. And we'll see that it auto filled in pretty nicely there. And next of all, we need to make it pick upable. So I'm going to create a pickup component. And that will also create a rigid body so that Unity will be able to detect the movement of the object. On this rigid body, I'm just going to select is kinematic so it doesn't fall away on us, which I feel like is best for an instrument like this, though that's just personal preference. And then on the pickup script for our desktop users, I'm just going to come over here and create auto hold and set that to yes. This will mean that they only have to click it once and it will just auto hold, which is just a bit nicer. Okay, so now that we have that, we now need to create a drum logic. Now these objects include the stand, and so there's no real easy way to do this. So what I'm instead gonna do, is I'm just gonna come over here, go 3D object, and create a cylinder. I'm then gonna type in some values that I figured out beforehand. And now we'll see that we have an object that's roughly where you'd hit the drum. Now by default, the cylinder comes with a capsule collider, cause that's just a bit more efficient. Uh, but that really doesn't fit the shape that we need. So I'm gonna remove this capsule collider, and I'm gonna go add component. I'm just gonna create a mesh collider. I'm going to set it to convex and is trigger, so there's a nice trigger that's about the correct shape. And now we have basically everything we need, however I do want to add one thing. I'm actually going to come over to the layers, I'm just going to exclude every layer, and then allow for pickup objects. And so now only pickup objects will be able to play this drum. Okay, so now we have our colliders, we need a way for this drum to make a sound. And to do that I'm going to go add component, and I'm going to create an audio source component so that our drum can make some noise. On the audio clip I'm just going to give it my drum hit sound. And then I'm going to disable play on awake so it doesn't play when the game begins. Now that's all we need for the audio source, but feel free to play around with these settings to better fit your world. I'm just going to minimize this to make everything a bit more clean. And then I'm going to come down here and go add component, and it's time to create an udon behavior component. So we can attach a script to this object. However, we need a script to go inside this udon behavior component. So I'm going to come over to the project window. I'm going to right click and go create VRChat udon udon graph program asset. And I'm going to call this drum script. Now that we have our script, I'm going to come up here and click Open Udon Graph, and now we can begin coding. Now, our code's going to be pretty simple. First of all, we need to know what audio source we want to play the sound on. So I'm going to come up to the Variables tab and hit the plus button, and I'm going to create an audio source variable. I'm going to right click it, and I'm just going to call this Target Audio Source. And then I'm going to hit this drop down, and I'm going to make it public, so we'll be able to see it inside the inspector. And with that done, it's time to start coding. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to think about when do we want the code to do anything. And for that, we want to make it so whenever a trigger hits this object, we want it to play a sound. So we want to use the node on trigger enter, which will make this arrow play whenever anything hits this object. However, because of the way we set up our colliders, that will actually only be something on the pickup object. Next, we need to say what we want it to do, and for that we want it to play in audio. So for that we want to use an audio source play node, and this will make an audio source play whatever is in its audio clip slot. However, the one thing this node needs to know is what audio source is meant to start playing its audio clip. And for that, we're going to grab our variable, and we're just going to plug that into the instance slot. So now whenever a pickup hits this object, it's going to play the on trigger enter node. It's then going to play our audio source play node. It's then going to tell our audio source to play its audio clip. And with that, our script is complete. So I'm going to hit compile and come back into our scene. With our cylinder selected, I'm then going to come down to our udon behavior component, and I'm just going to drag and drop our script into the udon behavior component. Then it needs to know what audio source to play, which is the public variable. So I'm just going to drag and drop our audio source into the target audio source variable. And so now when I hit play, we should see that we can come over here and when we grab our drumstick and we then hit the drum, we hear it plays the sound, though a little awkwardly because we're on desktop. However, if we were to spam this, we can hear that the audio cuts out and resets every time we hit it. How can we instead make it so that when we spam it, it just lays the sounds on top of each other? Well, to do that, we need to use a different node. So if we just stop playing and come back into our Udon Graph, the problem here is that we're using the Audio Source Play node. There's actually another node, Audio Source Play One Shot, which can be used to play multiple audio clips on the same audio source. To do this, we need to say when we want it to play, so I'm just gonna give it the arrow. We need to know what audio source we want it to play, so I'm gonna drag and drop that in. And then finally, we need to say what clip we want it to play because unlike the audio source play node, it doesn't know if we're wanting to play this particular clip. Now, in order to get a clip for this object to play, 
one thing we could do is to come up to the variables tab and create an audio clip variable make it public and then we can select it inside the inspector but for our case we just wanted to play the same one as we would for an audio source play node so all we need to do is get whatever the audio clip is on our audio source so we can do that by grabbing our audio source variable and we can use an audio source get clip node to get the current clip on the audio source oop that was weird um, and then we can drag and drop that into the clip slot of the audio source play one shot node. So now what happens happen whenever an object hits our trigger, it will grab our audio source, get whatever clip it is on, and tell it to play that clip on the audio source. Awesome. So if I hit compile and come back into our scene, we can now just press play and this should work. So now that we're in the game, we can grab our drumstick and we can see that when we spam it, we should hear that each of the drum hit sounds nicely loop on top of each other. Awesome. So, hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. I also have links to my Patreon and Discord down below. But until next time, bye!